Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Administrator Wheeler, in 2016, researchers in the EPA's Office of Research and Development updated the Integrated Risk Information System, or IRIS, value for ethylene oxide, which is known as ETO. Mm -hmm. In doing so, they determined that cancer risk for inhalation of ETO was 30 times higher than previously thought. In August 2018, EPA scientists released the latest version of the National Air Toxics Assessment based on the new iris value. This revealed an elevated cancer risk in the communities around a commercial sterilization facility in Willowbrook, just outside my district, facility owned by Sterogenics. I not only represent families in the impacted communities, I also live there. Thanks to the state of Illinois, this plant is now closed, perhaps only temporarily. I've been calling on the EPA to act quickly to protect not only the families in these communities around sterogenics, but those around ETO, facilities that use ETO for sterilization all around the country. We need the EPA to use the updated iris value for ETO to set a strong new federal emission standard that protects Americans all across our country from this dangerous carcinogen. I first wrote to you, then acting administrator, on September 21st, 2018, almost exactly one year ago. When will the EPA set a new standard for ETO to protect Americans all across our country? We are working on two different rulemakings to address ETO, um, and both of those are in the works, but we have been working hand in hand with both the local government as well as the state. It was EPA that provided the monitors the ambient air monitors, the modeling to determine what the impact was from Willowbrook. We worked with the state. They used our data um, to make the determinations that they did on that facility. And we, were, we worked with the facility to, to make sure that they were installing better technologies to capture the emissions so that it does not get into the, um, the neighborhood. There, there are a lot of issues around um, ETO. It, it, well, I, I want to make sure that are you going to use the updated IRIS values? IRIS, according to the EPA's website, says IRIS assessments are the preferred source of toxicity information used by the EPA. And I want to make sure that you're committed to using this updated IRIS uh, value for the cancer risk for ETO uh, when developing this new standard. Are you committed to that? We, we are using the IRIS assessment for our regulatory decisions. It's important to remember that the IRIS program is not a regulatory program. So we also have to make sure that we are following the regulatory requirements of the statutes, such as the Clean Air Act, that we are using to set the standards for that facility for ET. I just want to make sure that you're going to use, use that because there's been some arguments uh, against it, and I, it's critical that uh, that science is not ignored. Um, we, we use all of our available science in making regulatory decisions, but again, the IRIS program is not a regulatory program. I, I want to uh, close by reiterating a request from my neighbors in Illinois who would appreciate your participation in an October 2nd town hall on ethylene oxide in Lake County. I firmly expect the EPA to do its job engaging with the public at this event. I appreciate the air monitoring around the facility in Willowbrook but it is important that EPA set a standard to protect Americans from this dangerous cancer-causing chemical, and EPA needs to, US EPA needs to act quickly and decisively on this issue. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Congressman. And I, and I know you're also concerned about the Great Lakes. Um, last month, we announced first ever trash-free Great Lakes grant program to help get the Great Lakes cleaned up. Thank you, Mr. Babin. Thank you very much. Um